of work to do today, but I'm going to let Hoffman handle today's video. Joy! Joy! Come here, Joy! I'm excited because we're gonna be setting up my feeder. Um, it's pretty exciting. I don't know for me because I don't buy these nice feeders that I you see at Academy or you know at feed stores. But for the past four or five years, I've put a band-aid on my feeders. The squirrels, the raccoons—they literally wreak havoc on my uh, my cages, my timers, my corn thrower, everything gets torn up by them. So I keep, each deer season or each year, I keep putting, you know, duct tape and wire and those cages. I've tried everything, but they now have this. And so I'm pretty excited because of one thing, this cage. This case is pretty, it's pre pretty sturdy. It's made of steel. Uh, everything's so compact and, and airtight. I mean, I don't think anything's gonna be able to tackle this one. It's got all these little full compartments for my timer and battery, which my other ones didn't. They're always duct taped to the side or something. But it's a pretty cool feeder. Like I said, it's the nicest one I've ever had. So we're going to take it down there to where I have my other one and replace it. So, um, yeah, let's get it loaded. He has three feeders back there. Okay, they're loaded down. We head on over to the feeder. Well, not the feeder, but where the feeder is going to go. So I'm about to show you the feeder that I have now. Um, it's done okay. I just, like I said, I have to keep experimenting with cages and you know timers and and all this other stuff. And look, I'll show you right now. So when I got look here, at that, look, that's brand new, and that's a squirrel prop most likely. So having a metal feeder for me is, I don't know, pretty exciting. I feel like it's indestructible. And then these throwers. My feet are kind of low to the ground so the deer can lick this little tray and just empty out all my corn, which I guess it's serving its purpose, but I don't like it because I have to buy corn every two months instead of every six months. So, pretty excited about my new feeder.
Look at this. Look how full it is. I don't know why I'm so excited about this because I know people from other states don't get to bathe and use feeders and they probably think it's cheating. But I'm terribly, terribly excited and I don't care. And plus, not so much deer but pigs. We have a bunch of pigs around here and they're good to eat. And you can hunt them year round. Yeah. And more corn means more pigs. So, I'm super excited. That's why we keep it really filled up with corn around here. That's why I'm doing this. And then look at that. No squirrels can get in or chew. Oh, don't forget your things on the bottom, anchors. Oh, yeah. All right, so now here's where the timer and stuff are. Hey, Daddy? Yeah. What is it? I pushed the button on that thing. Come on, Dad. Alright, hold on. It is 8.30. Alright, thank you, buddy. Oh my god. Easiest timer in the world? Yep. We need to, uh, we need to hurry because we're getting a bunch of rain this past week because of, uh, Hurricane Hannah and it's causing some problems here. <laughs> And we're going to have to deal with them, and hopefully it won't be too expensive, but we'll have to uh, make another video, and I hope you all will tune in to kind of find out what we've been dealing with and what the solution is, what the cost is going to be. So. Look, it's sunny. I'm just cloudy right, that way. Again, watch out. Oh, we got it one more time. Pretty good. Anything good? I think so. Alright, I need to also bury my. Where do you want to? Here. Oh. So, let me throw that box. Yeah, box. Yeah, can you get off of it? They'll be able to lift it up, but they won't be able to put this in the garden. Okay. Um, What's the next project? This. Stop, Casey. All right. So now I'm going to be bearing a, a feeder light that I have. Um, obviously, in the state of Texas, I can't hunt deer at night or with any uh, aid being a light, flashlight, spotlight, whatever. But I have these feeder lights that come on <clears throat> at night and they're mainly for hogs. And you could probably see them for about 100 yards if something were to come under the feeder. They're motion activated, they're pretty cool. They've got a built-in uh, solar panel on them and a green light, which they say hogs can't see certain colors of the spectrum of the color spectrum and green being one of them so i like to get the green over the red it's my preference but they're from uh wildlife solutions they're awesome lights i love them i've had them for probably about a year and they're still working there's been storms and high winds and all that and they're still kicking on at night so i love them they're about 60 bucks not too expensive and they're fun, especially when those raccoons come out at night. So what happened? Well, I wasted time digging a hole in the wrong spot because the solar panel needs to face south. Nice. And all this talking got me distracted. Story! You like it? Alright. Hey boys, come kick the dirt. Come kick dirt over here. Come on. Coming, coming, coming. Dash. Other hole, Dash. No. This hole? This hole? Axel. Alright, so got it set up. Got my light set up. Got the feeder set up. 
Hopefully uh, I can get some footage of us actually hunting and uh, seeing a pig, but who knows? They come out at one o'clock in the morning, so. That's uh, relatively simple. Uh, feeder was about 300 bucks, which, you know, for me, that's a lot of money, but I, if you want something nice and something to last, might as well spend it and make a little investment, so. Hopefully it works out. Let me see. All right, get in the back. Get in the back. And now it's over here. It's moving quick. All right. I'm gonna head back. Old feeder will be retired. New feeder with the light lights on it for our piggy hunts. Mom, you coming or what? Oh yeah. Let's go. Feels great though. Oh my gosh, it's gotta be 70 degrees. See all the trees. Now I'm gonna go sit on the porch with my coffee and enjoy this weather. Alright, stay tuned. Got some um something big we're gonna have to work on. A little problem that Hoffman mentioned that we notice every time it rains. So be sure to check that out. If you like what you're watching, subscribe, hit that like button, notification button, all the good stuff. Thanks.